So I've packed out my uh, Velocity Pro bag here uh, that I got. It's a Rogue 2.0. Just thought I'd kind of go over my initial setup and what all you can fit. Uh, first off, one of the reasons I got this bag is uh, because one of my favorites here is a, a Vito MB2. So I was looking for something similar to this footprint, but a little bit bigger and with kind of some more storage. Um, I've tried the MB3, wasn't real happy with that. Um, so this is what I've got here. So first off, I just uh, put some bit holders on. I uh, don't have a whole lot in them at the moment. Um, I've got a couple pocket screwdrivers hanging out on this side. This pouch here was perfect for a tool check. Plus, I did have to take the little screwdriver end off, which I don't really use that screwdriver anyways. Um, so... Got that in the side. The front, I just put a little angle adapter that I use. Next on this side, I've got my uh, PB Swiss ratcheting driver, the uh, ratcheting Japanese style that I'm trying out, a headlamp, and some wire strippers. In the front pocket here, I just uh, threw a uh, brush in. It's the only thing in there at the moment. So we'll open it up. Um, so one thing I did is I, in this uh, business card holder, I just slid a piece of metal um, so that I can magnetize a little dish on there. Thought that'd be handy. Throw screws while I'm working on something. Front pouch, I just have plugs for static testing and some fuses. I'm not going to open all that up. <clears throat> the, so one of the things I do like is my drill can fit inside of it. I think that's handy uh, rather than having it hanging on the outside of the bag. Um, small uh, electric meter, which is handy. Uh, the Redfish, which I typically use, is just a little bulky for this bag. It would fit if I made it. But um, So then I've got a PB Swiss T-handle that I just slide right in the back here along with a uh, Vera flex driver. This little guy is a lifesaver. Um, just a little pocket tape measure and a uh, this is where I store my Unibit for drilling static holes. Got another uh, just PB Swiss screwdriver handle uh, just a bunch of bits, different sizes, hex drivers. Um, next, I've got my little Klein Ergo strip, or Klein Nipex Ergo strip. Uh, this is a cool little wire stripper. Um, then we've got the Nipex Cobras and plier wrenches, small size. Um, my little side cutters for wire ties and a small pair of needle nose. These upper pop pockets are kind of perfect for these little mini bit ratchets and things. So I've got a couple of those in there. Um, got another so small Weira driver extension and then my uh, gas valve bit 
Uh, this pocket here, I just put some more bits in, uh, as it's kind of a good, good size for that. And then my refrigeration service wrench and bit goes in there. Uh, I don't think I put anything in this pocket. And then, uh, in the back, I just put a little bit of scotch Bright. Uh, a little bit of a pain to get in and out of there, but so I won't pull it all the way out. But so far, that's it. Bring you around and show you that pile of tools there. So, uh, was able to stuff quite a bit in there and still be pretty light. I think that's more than enough. Um, and then I'm also going to set up one of the MB2s as just a quick go bag for service calls. But hope you liked.